That's a very good question. I'll, I will tell you that from the perspective of an attorney, now a judge, uh, we are so naive uh, as judges um, in dealing with uh, what you call trauma. Of course, uh, we judges ask ourselves, what, what is trauma? And why, why should it be so important in, in what we do? And I think I've learned over the years how significant learning and being advised of an individual's traumatic experience. Uh, and there have been many over the years that I've now uh, can probably relate to. What happens when a judge learns about trauma is that we then are identifying what may be the core problem in a person's uh, life. Trauma may uh, have led to not being able to cope with trauma and now have turned to alcohol and, and drugs to mask uh, an illness uh, due to an, uh, some act or event and not been able to handle it well. So we've been able now to uh, learn immediately upon that person uh, entering our program whether that person has had some traumatic event or exposure so that then we can be specific as to how we're going to be treating this. Also, I can appreciate as a judge how important that is in assisting and helping and encouraging that person's recovery. So from that span standpoint uh, and that perspective, it's very important for us judges to realize and be informed about these, about these traumatic events. Uh, let me put it to you this way, uh, when I certainly learned, uh, and now I can think that almost any event can be a traumatic event, because for one may not be an event that can be handled versus another one. And so sometimes judges are, because of their authority, we would like for them to, you know, get onto the program, do what they need to, and hopefully straighten out. But it's now taught me that those are very delicate issues. Uh, so delicate that sometimes they can be suicidal. And so we have to be very, very aware of that, very encouraging. And, and to tell you the truth, uh, my awareness has led me to now bring in families and talk about these events so that not only the participant in the program is learning and we're learning, but also that the family becomes aware of what this particular traumatic event has done to an individual over years. And remember that this could be been carried on for, for decades and we're now realizing and trying to help this person overcome that event. Certainly my approach. Uh, uh, certainly we're not confrontational uh, by way of specialty courts. We're non-adversarial. Uh, not, for lack of a better word, we're, we're trying to be more caring. I have certainly now encouraged that those folks who come into our program have made now a wise investment. A choice maybe that they wouldn't have done in the past. So the choice to come into a program that will allow them to be able to address an issue, to be trusting of us so that we can encourage that is something so different for me now. So I want them to be able to trust what we're doing uh, and be able to be open about the situation or issue that may be, so that we can help them. And I try to be very private about it. I will only ask them to allow me to discuss it, maybe because there's others in the crowd that are in the program that haven't opened up, uh, if they would like to, to share about that traumatic event and what it's done for them. And I will tell you that that's been uh, vitally important because then others become very safe about speaking about something so important that they haven't been able to, to state it. You know, we also have to identify with culture. Um, in our culture, in our Latin culture, um, we tend to keep things in, uh, that machismo type of uh, culture where we don't like to speak. Uh, women, uh, we've learned that uh, uh, single moms raising kids, uh, they feel like they uh, they have failed a relationship. 
that they have failed as a woman, that they have failed as a mom. So we try to to encourage that that's not the case. So what it's done for me is made me aware that trauma and how informed I can be and how I can approach in the recovery, how I can handle the case when I see them as a judge is so vitally important in how we address them because for each event, we as judges, and at any given time, for example, I have no less than 75 participants. That means that I have to be aware about 75 cases and not be so judgmental, but be more uh, positively reacting with them and monitoring differently their success.